Did you hear the sentence stress? Sentence stress is the music or rhythm of spoken English. Native speakers tend to say certain words more loudly and with more emphasis than others. Understanding the sentence stress of English is important for fluency and clarity. So in this video, you will learn when to stress a word. In English, most sentences have two types of words: content words and function words. Content words carry the most meaning when we speak, while function words have very little meaning. The basic rules of sentence stress are: one, content words are stressed, and function words are unstressed. Two, the time between stressed words is always the same. Let's look at the sentence. He's interested in taking economics. The content words. Interested, taking economics are stressed. If you remove the function words his, in, you'll still understand the sentence. Also, sentences with the same amount of stressed syllables take nearly the same amount of time to say, regardless of the number of unstressed syllables. For example, kids beat drums. The kids beat drums. The kids beat the drums. The kids will beat the drums. The kids will be beating the drums. The kids beat drums. The kids beat drums. The kids beat the drums. The kids will beat the drums. The kids will be beating the drums. Oops! Drum, drum, I can be a drum. rapper. Let's do some practice on sentence stress. I'll say each sentence in two different versions: the classic Chinglish version and the version that's close to native. I'm sorry, the class is full. I'm sorry, the class is full. Do you have any brothers or sisters? Do you have any brothers or sisters? She does not know the answer. She does not know the answer. We are not familiar with this new computer program. We are not familiar with this new computer program. She is going to study tonight. She is going to study tonight. They will ask the teacher for help. They will ask the teacher for help. So a common mistake that many Chinese learners of English make is giving equal stress to every word and syllable. Please don't do it. I suggest you do extra speaking practice by imitating native speech. I'm gonna play the most famous speech of Martin Luther King and show you how he stressed words. So even though we face the difficulties of today and tomorrow. I still have a dream. So here, are the content words like face, difficulties, today, tomorrow, have, dream, receive the most stress. When he said, "I still have a dream," he slowed down to make it sound more powerful. It is a dream deeply rooted in the American dream. It is a dream deeply rooted in the American dream. The content words "dream," "deeply rooted," "American dream" got stressed. He even placed stronger stress on American dream because that's a word that all Americans can relate to. I have a dream that one day this nation will rise up and live out the true meaning of its creed. I have a dream that one day this nation will rise up. And live out the true meaning of its creed. The phrases "rise up" and the "true meaning" got the most stress because that's the message he wanted to get across. His nation should be changed. We hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal. We hold these truths to be self-evident. That all men are created equal. He gave additional strength to the second part of the sentence. All men are created equal, because that's the key message of the entire paragraph. So this is a demo of native speech analysis. You can analyze any clips of TV show that you enjoy. Listen carefully to how the characters stress the content words. You will gradually feel the rhythm of English. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I'm Shopping Ball. See you next time.